Hello, my fellow viewers. Welcome back for watching my video. Recently, I visited a scale model retail store. Then there was a man came in. I thought he was a newbie because he got some trouble regardless of applying decals. He asked the salesperson for assistance. He was confused with the decal setup and the decal softer. Eventually, the salesperson suggests the decal setter only to that person. I'm not gonna dig deep into his problem because I don't remember the details, but through their conversation, I thought that guy actually need both of them at the moment. Anyway, this reminds me that for a very long time, I was also confused with these two items. So I would like to share what I have learned about them. Here we have uh, Mr. Mark Setter and Mr. Mark Softer by GSI from Japan. GSI dominates the scale modeling consumables in our local market. They have a very comprehensive range of products, but the bad thing is they usually has Japanese description only. Anyway, different brands may have different names on these stuffs but they are more or less doing the same thing. So, what are their intended purposes? What are they used for? When to use them and how to use them? So, here is the uh, decal softer first. As the name suggests, it softens the decals. So, why we need it? Let's say um, there is a raised line, a pretty prominent one, or there is a deep groove on the model surface, um, uh, a rough terrain, um, perhaps, um, a simulate um, ventilation grid, for example, and you have to apply a decal across such a surface. Well, the decal itself, as an elastic membrane, they tend to flatten out across the surface. Usually, they can't get into those rapid changing contours very well. Here is when the decal softer came in. It softens the membrane to make them less elastic and more stretchable, which allows the membrane to sit into the contour tightly. And it also avoid cracking of the membrane when you press them down onto those uneven surface. Another situation is the decal has been stored for a very long time, say more than a decade. The membrane itself becomes hard and brittle. The softer can restore its flexibility. Here is the function of the decal softer. To use it, there is a brush in the cap. Okay, so after you transfer the membrane from the supporting paper to the model surface, you simply apply the liquid on the de uh, on the decal membrane. Wait for about a minute. The membrane shall be soft enough to work on. However, there is a one thing I want to address here. In my experience. The softer shall not be used alone. It should always be accompanied with the setter at the same time. I will come back on the reason later. Now, let's talk about the decal setter. From the name itself, well, it's actually a little bit arbitrary because it doesn't really tell you much what it is used for. So, I used my word from what I have learned instead. Basically, it is simply a glue for decals. But why do you need additional glue given that the adhesive is provided on the supporting paper already? Well, think about how you would apply the decal. You cut out a decal from a whole sheet. You dip it into, you dip the decal into the water. You wait until the adhesive partially dissolved then you transfer the membrane onto the model surface. You adjust its correct position and press it down firmly to get it being set. 
and then let it dry. The problem is the adhesive is being continuously diluted while the decal sheet is still uh, submerged in water. Sometimes you just don't sure the adhesive was at the right concentration. Being too concentrated, the adhesive is too sticky and may tear broken the membrane during the transfer process. Therefore, we might tend to allow it being diluted more. But to some point, that adhesive will be over diluted, failing to provide adequate bonding later on. For those circumstances, you naturally think that if there is some extra adhesive at the right concentration, will be very handy. This is what the decal setter goes for. But why it isn't named decal glue instead? It is because it can do something more than that. It also provides certain level of decal softening effect, very mild though. Of course, not as intense nor effective as those uh, dedicated decal softer. So don't expect it works on very rough surface, but it is still capable enough to deal with some less than ideal surface, such as a non-grossy matte paint finished surface or when it came across on ordinary panel lines, a shadow one in which it can effectively avoid the silvering effects by using it alone. Another feature I discovered, which is not being mentioned by any product description, is it somehow reduced the water surface tension. The water surface tension sometimes keeps putting off the membrane out of position. The decal setter can help you uh, eliminating those problems in my experience. Now all these features come together to help you to get the decal being set. So, uh, to use it, first, uh, shake it well, be sure first, okay, shake it well, with no sedimentation left in the bottom of the container. Now, here you see there is some sedimentation at this corner right here, all right, shake it well, all right. Again, there is a brush in the cap, okay. Now, my practice is apply the liquid on the model surface right before you transfer the membrane. Make sure the liquid is at the bottom side of the membrane because it is a glue, okay? So it should be between the membrane and the model surface. Um, if you want a softening, softening effect, okay? You can apply the liquid on top of the membrane itself uh, as, well, as well, okay, sorry. Then, uh, just as usual, you adjust the decal position and press them down as usual. Now, for each of those, remember, gently wipe off the residues with wet cloth upon complete drying. I guess this should be the standard procedures anyway. Now, here are some other frequently asked questions regarding to these two stuffs. First, will the softer damage the decal membrane. I'm not sure if prolonged exposure of the membrane to the softer will actually dissolve it. Mm. My guess is it would. But, no, but don't quote me that because I have no solid proof. My guess was come from that uh, when the softer is being applied you will see some wrinkles developed in the membrane. I admit that this could be slightly terrified the beginners because I did. But despite to all being said, under any given circumstances, um, the decaling process should be finished in less than 10 minutes. Mm, the chances of obvious damage is very unlikely those wrinkles will be disappeared by proper compression, so there's no need to worry about. Um, secondly, can I use both of them at the same time? Yes, no problem. 
especially when the software is being used. Remember what I said before? I, uh, the use of the software shall be accompanied with the setter as well. Here's why. The software itself provides no adhesive power at all. But at the same time, it also acts as a dilutant to the adhesive from the supporting paper. Using it alone, in theory, um, may weaken the bonding. So using the setter at the same time, guaranteed sufficient amount of adhesive. So finally, should I have both of them? Well, only you can tell the answer, but here is my thought. These two products are actually inexpensive and after all, um, one single bottle can finish dozens of projects. They rendered the best possible result with such small investment. I think it's totally worth it. Um, or you may share the liquid and the cost with some of your friends if possible to further reduce your financial burden. So, I don't have both of them. I hope this uh, short video uh, you find useful and informative. So that's it. Goodbye and have a nice day.